What is up, YouTube? Uh, so today, um, we're actually gonna go a little bit serious. I was gonna post the uh, about me video, but I actually stumbled across this video. Um, actually, came across it from another awesome vi uh, YouTuber who you should really check out. His uh, YouTube is called R2G. If you've never heard of him, definitely check him out. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go look at that. So basically, there's a creepy video um, a, a while back. I uh, don't know exactly. Okay, so it was from 2011, I believe. And uh, it's basically the most probably it gave me it definitely gave me chills when i watched it um not sure there's word going around that it's fake some people are saying it's it's real i don't know what it is i'm not gonna say it's real fake because um there's not enough evidence anyway i feel like we should watch this interesting i know i'm not usually going for this serious stuff but felt like it's something we should talk about so uh let's get right into it it's um the video is titled, Hi Patrick, It's Me, Walter. Walter kidnapped a female named Kayla Berg. If you've never heard of this, uh, you can do some research on it. Um, and I'm not sure who Patrick, I think Patrick might be a friend. But anyway, let's get right into the video and uh, we'll see what happens. Hi, Walter. I was at the mall today, and guess what happened? I met the most wonderful girl. We went shopping at J.C. Penney's, and she tried on a lot of clothes. And she ended up buying a whole lot of them, you know what I mean? Before we go any further, um, I'm not going to really try to make any jokes. I mean, this guy is, you can tell right away, this guy is pretty fucking creepy, in my opinion. Um, just by the way he's talking. And uh, the other thing I noticed, and I'm, again, I'm not going to sit here... And say this is fake or not, but there is some weird about his voice being. You can hear some kind of like acting type voice in it. I'm um, but like he's reading off some. I don't know. Um, but that's just me. Uh, comment down below what you think of that. And then we decided to go and take a look at some of the jewelry at K Jewelers, and she picked out this most awesome necklace that I've, the most amazing necklace I've ever seen and I, I know she wanted me to buy it for her because she kept on looking at me and kept on giving me that look you know the look and then we got kind of tired of the mall and I brought her back to my place and I know I know she hates cameras Walter but I'm gonna show you her anyway you ready <laughs> So that's basically the video. Um, it does go into like zooming in and stuff. Who you know? There's, there's. It's just I think it's a fifty-fifty thing where people are saying. I'm reading the comments right now. There's people actually saying that this is fake. Some people are saying this is real. In my opinion, I don't care if this is fake or not. Um, this is just fucking messed up. In my opinion, I think. If someone's gonna fake something like this, this is it's still fucked up to fake something like this because it's a serious matter that this shit does fucking happen in real life and you should never fake this shit. I would I would prefer to see fucking 
fake clown videos than that shit. And those clown videos really are annoying to see. And I'd rather see that than this shit. Um, who knows? I mean, the guy does seem, in my opinion, creepy. And there's um, somewhere you, you can hear something around maybe 55 seconds into the video. Um, sounds like someone else. I don't know if it's him. Maybe he's just, like, talking himself. Who knows? Um, and there's just some things that uh, people are saying that the girl started scre- like screaming crying when the door opened um I mean she could have also thought maybe it was a good time to scream because the door's open and she thought maybe more people would hear her I don't know um but it's kind of weird because you don't you can still when he kind of closes the door even though it's still open slightly you can hear her pretty well in my opinion and I think uh this is something that sh- should be shared around definitely share this kind of thing around you know let people know about this and hopefully like something happens out of this uh i mean this is quite a while ago like uh, five years ago about i think so if i ever find anything more about this i'll definitely post another video regarding this uh situation i know i said i wasn't gonna do a joke but this does kind of remind me of another situation going on right now if you know what i mean where's leafy where's leafy Leafy, I heard you were in Seattle, man. He now wants to actually fucking fight me, and he's actually hunting me down as we speak. <laughs> but in all serious, this is not a joking matter, and that was very dumb of me, but still, I just thought it, I had to do it. I'm sorry, guys, I had to, but seriously, though, this this shit does happen, and I think the only way is, like to prevent this kind of stuff from happening more is to educate people on this shit. And, I mean, hopefully people don't fall victim into this kind of madness. We definitely live in a sick, sick world. I actually never even heard about this until R2G uh, posted it yesterday on uh, his channel. So, thank you for uh, posting that, man. And, uh, like I said, I'll definitely leave a link to the video and also, I'll leave a link to R2G's uh, YouTube page so you can check it out if you haven't. But if you guys know any more about this uh, particular person, the Caleb Berg or Walter, I don't know, who, again, whoever Patrick is, who knows. But if you know anything about these two, definitely leave it in the comments. Let us know, you know, let's see what really is happening. Because this shit's fucked up. Alright, so please, again, leave a comment down below on your thoughts or if you know anything more about this and uh, leave a like and share. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Until next time, guys, see you fucking later and peace the fuck out.